Hello everyone, welcome back to WebNestify channel. Today we are diving into the world of self-hosting with an incredible platform called PikaBots. If you ever wanted to run your own open source applications without the hassle of managing servers, then this video is for you. Stick around as we explore how PikaBots make self-hosting easier, more affordable and incredible user-friendly. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. So let's get started. But before we explore the Picapods dashboard, first I will introduce you to the Picapods. So what is Picapods? It is instant open source app hosting platform where you can deploy and manage apps with just a few clicks. You don't need to have any sysadmin skills. So users can easily run applications like Nextcloud, Comafit or Uptime Kuma without the hassle of server management, updates or complex configurations. What are the key features of Picapos platform? Easy deployment of popular open source applications. It is fully managed hosting with automatic updates and maintenance. Those applications are also backed up daily. You can add your custom domains and you have flexible resource management, CPU and RAM. And also you can get access to data via SFTP and also to the database. And it is privacy focused with no tracking ads or profiling. So these features combine to offer a user-friendly, privacy-respecting platform for hosting open source applications without the complexities of traditional server management. What are the benefits of Picapods? It combines self-hosting privacy with cloud service convenience. It is affordable alternative to commercial cloud services. And most importantly, it supports open source development. Where possible, part of the revenue goes to the original author. And those applications are marked with the green heart and I will show you when we explore the Picapods platform. So by using Picapods, you are also supporting the open source community. Picapods shares part of its revenue with the developers of the applications it hosts, helping to sustain and improve these open source projects. So what is the pricing? It starts at $1 per month. New users will get $5 as a welcome credit. You can pay with credit card or PayPal, or even you can get it as a business expense. So these pricing details and the generous welcome credits make Picapods attractive option for anyone looking to sell host open source applications affordably. So what is Picapods ideal for? For individuals and small businesses wanting to sell host, those who are seeking privacy and control over their data, and users looking for an easy entry into the self-hosting. So Picapos lowers the barrier to entry for self-hosting, making it accessible and convenient for a wide range of users, from hobbies to small businesses and developers. So what is who is behind the Picapots? It is created by the team behind Borgbase, a secure backup hosting. Both are products of Peakford Limited and Pickford demonstrate expertise in secure, privacy-focused hosting. So in summary, Picapods and Borgbase are complementary services developed by Pickford Limited, leveraging the company's expertise in secure, privacy-focused hosting. By choosing these platforms, users benefit from reliable, user-friendly solutions while supporting the open source community. And now it's time that we go to explore the Picapods platform and how we can manage the applications. So let's go. So first, what we need to do is to create an account and you don't need any credit card to begin with. So when you visit Picapods.com, you can click the sign up. And as you can see, you will start with a $5 welcome credit. No credit card needed. But I already have account because I was using Picapods uh, years before. So I'm going to sign in and also with my 2FA code. And once you have your account, I also recommend that you enable two-factor authentication. 
you can do it by visiting the account profile and manage 2FA. So first let me walk you through the available applications uh, that you can deploy on Picapos platform. So first ac application for example is actual and as you can see you have the green heart which this project has a formal revenue sharing agreement. And how the pricing works for these applications is that you have minimal required costs for each application because some apps consume more resources by default, some consume less. So, and I will show you how you can adjust the resources and the pricing soon. So when you scroll down, you will see all the list of various applications that you can deploy. And so some of them don't have the revenue sharing, but some of them also have with the green heart. So you can choose and pick which application you want to run. So for example, let's start with the, um, with the book stack. So if you want to deploy it, you can just click run your own. You can choose the application and now you can choose the pod name. It's going to be book stack demo. You can select also the region if you want to European data center or even US. And for the resources, as you can see by default, this app is $1. And when you use like more CPU cores, you want to add one with one gigabyte of memory with 10 gigabyte of storage. The monthly costs are going to be $2.65 a month for this Bookstack application. So let's just click add a pot. And usually this will take up to 20 seconds. It's very fast and very easy to use. So let's just wait a little bit. And I think we already have the pickup pots and some applications show you straight away what you need to do. So with Bookstack, you need to change the default admin credentials and password. So what we can do, we can copy this and we can open our Bookstack demo application. And as you can see, everything is ready with SSL on their domain. So let me log in and also do the password. And here you go to my account security and you can change your password here. So it's very fast and very easy to use. So now we can also try to deploy a different application. So we can add, for example, let's do Ghost, which is a blogging platform. And now we can choose the US data center. And also with some applications, you can add your own custom variables and you will get always link for the official documentation if you want to tweak something, for example, SMTP, you can add straight away from the here. And for the resources, we can leave it by default, that's fine. And let's click add a pod. And as you can see, the pod deployment is very fast, up to 20 seconds. All right, so now we have our ghosts and when we visit the site, the ghost is still busy working. You can always check uh, the logs. As you can see, it is still creating the database. So if you don't have your applications ready, you can always check the logs. So let's just refresh it. And I think we should already have it. And yes, as you can see, we already have the ghost platform. But here, you need to visit this one, this address to finalize your setup. So let's just open it. And you can fill in your uh, details for the ghost. So each application can have different things. You will get always notified if you need to do something after you deploy your pod. So let's just close this. And now we can add our custom domains. So when you click the wheel for the pod settings, here you can adjust the resources on the fly. For example, you can scale it up and down as you want. You can increase the memory, 
storage, etc. And for the domain, you need to check this to get your custom domain and you will need to add your domain. So we're gonna do host.webnestify.org and here is the CNAME record that you will need to add as a target. So let's just copy the CNAME record. Let's go back to my DNS. I'm gonna add a record. CNAME is gonna be ghosts. Pick a pod. You can check the, you can leave the proxy on. It's up to you. We can click save. And we're gonna do the same for the book stack. We're gonna click the pod settings, domain, enable custom domain. And we're gonna do book stack. And we're gonna copy this uh, CNAME record. Edit here. And that's it. So now when you add those custom domains, you will need to wait five to 10 minutes until everything propagates. So be patient, don't worry, everything is working. You just need to wait. And after roughly 10 minutes, you can click save. And now uh, your pods and applications are on those custom domains. So let me visit a pod on our domain. And as you can see, we have our applications with SSL on our custom domain. Let me also check the book stack. And yes, book stack is also on our custom domain. So also in the pod overview, you can see the current usage, CPU time, memory usage, disk usage, you can also refresh the pod statistics. You can check it in the real time. And when you go to pod settings, when you go to files, you can click enable SFTP access. You can click save and you just need to wait a little bit until it gives you some settings and the password. And as you can see, now you can SFTP to this pod. Same goes for the database. You can enable database. And this pod has just edits applied. You need to wait a minute before editing settings again. So you just need to wait a second. Same goes for the book stack. You can also enable the file. See the SFTP access. You get straight away the password and also you can enable that database access. So let's just close this. You can refresh the pods. Go to settings, database. And let's just wait a second. Okay. You just need to wait a little bit. It's easy and straightforward. Also, what you can do uh, with your pods when you click the button more, you can pause the application, you can restart it. You can see the logs as I've demonstrated before. And that's basically it, right? You can always adjust the resource usage if you want to save some money or if you know that you are just developing something you can give it the minimum and then you pay less. So it is very scalable. You can scale up and down. And also with some applications, you support the open source development, which is fantastic. So I think that's it uh, for this video. And in conclusion, PickaPods is an excellent solution for anyone looking to self host open source applications without the technical headaches it's affordable, easy to use, and offers great features that ensure your data is safe and your apps run smoothly. If you're interested in trying out, head over to Pickapods and sign up today. By choosing Pickapods, you are also supporting the broader ecosystem of open source projects and benefiting from expertise of team behind Borgbase and Pick for Limited.
And also, as I mentioned before, I already created the video about the Borg base and how we can set up the Borg backups. You can read the blog post and also you can watch the video that I created uh, before. And also, if you have any IT consulting uh, needs or some special projects that needs specialized hosting or something, you can visit Pickford's website and you can get in touch with them and they will gladly help you with all your project needs. So thank you very much everyone for watching and I hope you like this video. And yeah, share it, like it, leave comments down below and stay tuned for the next F some video. Bye bye.